Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Because our children come from different uh, households, different uh, positions, uh, different uh, levels of, of poverty, uh, we have to try to give our learners as many tools and skills as possible to deal with the issues, uh, but also to teach them or to guide them to contribute positively to society uh, and to allow them to be the best that they can be uh, with their God-given talents. Uh, taking taking into consideration uh, everything and everybody around them. Every day it's a getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, hey, hey. Every day it's a getting faster. Everyone said go ahead and ask her Love like yours will surely come my way Hey, 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 hey Every day seems a little longer Every way love's a little stronger come. You might end up in Lion Dock and what a great place You'll learn many things and there's no time to waste You'll meet Principal Janssen who seems kind of stern but don't worry about that. He wants you to learn. Now all the women will come to you.
I'd like to believe, and, and this has been my experience, that the students who participate in the LSE program have come to partner with the children and the learners and the parents of the Lion Rock community to enable them to um, lead their lives in such a way that they have sustainable futures of their own. We use the axiom in the class a lot, we don't do anything for, we do things with. So I think the, the work is really, the, 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 at the center of the work is really this thing called developing respectful relationships. So from the United States, before it was the United States, we had the Native Americans. <laughs> project in class and it was a craft and one student wanted to see the, the some pictures that we had taken earlier um, in the semester and then she just she had finished her project and she used my camera and she started recording and taking pictures all on her own and no one had asked her to do it and it was so cool to look back and see the memories that she had helped us create and that she had preserved um, and so it's when students do things like that when they take a step out of their comfort zone and they take a little bit of a risk because she could have asked permission but she didn't and honestly I don't know if I would have said yes but I'm so glad that she didn't ask me because like that, that's one of my favorite things that has happened so far. But at the same time, we are learning at a school that can also benefit from our engagement with that school. Um, and being in South Africa, um, there are many schools that were influenced by apartheid. And although apartheid is over, they are still dealing with the repercussions. I did ask me about the land of South Africa. They learn us a lot to don't have sex um, before you don't and if you, you must be first married and you must finish school and you must come something in our world when you go up. You must finish material and you must go to university. To make instruments. Learn us about the world, South America. The yoga. The painting. I could almost say that we are the only school in South Africa where we have international students coming on a weekly basis. So at least my, my children's working knowledge of English has increased. So the kids have a, a, a wider variety of input than children at other schools. So I, w I would just like to see my children becoming more clear as to who they are and to where they want to be. So no matter your past story or if your name be Bip Bam or Boo, know there's many things in life you have the power to do. Whether your name be Sne, Anna, Panyo, or Sam, the most important thing to know is that I am that I am. It's great to engage and do what you do, but always remember you've got to be you.
it's an experiential learning course. It includes students from all walks of life, from different countries and different disciplines, different ages, different sex groups, uh, different values, which makes it a, a wonderful, rich space um, in which to facilitate collaborative learning where shared shaping of ideas takes place. So within the course we cover a range of topical themes that have bearing on equipping um, students to participate in the community engagement enterprise. But the exciting thing I think is has to do with the different persuasions, views, um, knowledges that students bring um, to the space. It's, a, it's a, an, an alternate knowledge space. It's a different kind of learning space where, where many knowledges, um, tacit, academic, intellectual and other interface. Through that exchange, um, participants um, discover meaningful and alternate and creative innovative ways of, of leading meaningful lives. And I check in. Yeah. And I check in. And I check in. And I check in. Yeah. Yeah. I check in. Yeah. And I check in. And you go? Yeah. yeah. Um, because on Fridays when we have our lectures, I really like how when we get into a discussion, everyone just gets so motivated and everyone is so, all these ideas are flying around the room and we just feel, it's, it's a really empowering thing as a student to feel like what you're saying is important. And, um, you know, sometimes you come out of that and you're like, what just happened? Like, we have so much potential just in that room of 24 people and, and if more people were taking LSE, if more people were taking classes like this, like, how much better would the world be? That we There's a man there named Grant Demas who wears many hats. He tells many stories. Now, how about that? He chuckles and laughs, and he is generous and kind. The stories he tells are to help you to shine. So shine on and shine on and shine on you'll do. And while shining, you'll draw many people to you. Like teachers and learners and children and such, You'll listen and listen and learn very much. I want to be a better woman for the people, for, for the guys, the kids, don't play in the, the road. I want to be a lawyer because I want to help people if they're in jail and I want to be the best lawyer in the whole the world. I see and hear the following. I hear the sounds of lots of happy, laughing children playing. I hear the sound of the school bell going. I see the children neatly lined up, neatly attired, all of them in full school uniform, proud and happy to be at school. I see a learning precinct full of trees and flowers and um, green grass and a nice playground. I see enthusiastic eager beavers in the class are popping out of their skins to inquire and to explore and to think with us. I think I want to learn more about the future. A fireman, a god is good to help people. One of the negative things about the education system is that not too much worth and value is placed on the alternative education of learners with educational needs. Uh, uh, many of our kids 
have got learning disabilities but they are forced to be taught in the mainstream even though the mainstream does not contribute anything to their education. So I would like to see that uh, a bigger emphasis is placed on uh, schools of skills or remedial teaching uh, within school. What do you want to become in the future? I want to be a doctor. A doctor, wow. So during our first lesson um, with the 7th grade girls, my team and I asked them to draw us pictures of their, their dream careers. Um, I had many of them drew doctors, some of them were teachers, some of them wanted to become designers, um, some wanted to be a singer, and I think she'll be one. Um, and they all had these really cool dreams, and they, they drew pictures and everything, and I just imagine, you know, in 10 years, I can see them all doing that. I can see the girls who want to be doctors, you know, they ask questions, they, they engage in class, and the girls who want to be designers are so creative. And a lot of them, when they wrote what they wanted to be, they, they said, you know, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, and they said they want to do it to help children, a lot of them. And I really admire that. Um, and I think that a lot of those girls have, can, can definitely help people in the future, and they have, they have so much to offer to the world. So I definitely see that. And so I guess, in general, my hopes for them, and my dreams for them just would be that even if they change their minds about whatever they drew on their paper 10 years ago, um, I hope that they're all very happy and that they still talk to each other and that they, they keep those friendships and that they, yeah, and that they're doing well. <laughs> and then I see groups of learners who were at the school earlier on who have been through the programs coming back to tell about the accomplishments, academic, personal, and social, bringing their children um, to enroll them at the school because of the impact the school had on, on shaping their lives. So in life's journey, right from the start, let's teach our children things like possibilities, eradicating poverty, responsibility, sustainability, no matter the path they choose to take, that they all have a part to see past, present, and future through the eyes of their heart. Sang 
into my mind, fueled by feelings I am inside. I, my mom one day said that there's no reason for you to leave because you will never give the other school or your other job the same that you've given Lindor. And, 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 and Lindor is part of my whole family's life. Don't take care, you're 